Hello friends, welcome back to All in Law. This is a quick pediatrics and today's topic of discussion is PFO. That's a patent for Amen Oil. Patent for Amen Oil. Okay guys, so before starting a discussion on this, I request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. The patent for an oval, if I have to draw a diagram of a heart, this is a heart, okay, this is a right ventricle, a right atrium and this is a left atrium, this is a right ventricle and this is a left ventricle and this let me draw over here. And this is septum, and this is a mit tricuspid, and this is a mitral. Mitral comes on the left side, tricuspid comes on the right side. So, what's a persistent, uh, what's called a patent foramen oval, is nothing but is a hole in the left atrium. Okay, that's a persistent. It should have been closed by the time baby attends the infancy or soon after the birth, but it remained patent. Right? So this is what the present foramen oval is. The foramen oval is used prenatally to provide oxygenated blood from the mother's placenta to the left atrium. This is left atrium. So that was the function of this patent foramen oval. So in during infancy, you know very well during what you call uh, fetus, fetal circulation. In fetal circulation, there's no use of lungs because lungs will not be functioning. So that's why the pure blood comes from the placenta, right? Yes. It normally functionally closes when increased left atrial pressure. If the left atrial pressure increases and this causes as there is a flap and this causes a closure of this and ultimately it's get closure as soon as the baby starts breathing, okay? But in some children, the tissue of the foramen oval is insufficient to cover the foramen. Sometimes it can happen, okay? either from what you call insufficient growth or becoming a stretch from increased pressure or volume okay so these are the important things you should know about this uh, patent for amen oval you know because a baby in the womb isn't breathing it's not breathing and the lungs aren't working properly they are not started at working right lungs in the womb that means there is no need to pump the blood to the lungs very simple right so at this stage it's more efficient for a blood to bypass the lungs and use a different route to circulate oxygen rich blood from the mother to the baby's body the umbilical cord you know very well umbilical cord right umbilical cord umbilical cord delivers oxygen rich blood to the baby's right atrium this is right atrium okay right atrium which is the right atrium oxygen rich blood and most of this blood travels through the foramen oval into the left atrium it is like the traveling like this okay from there the blood goes to the left ventricle and it comes over here uh, then which pumps it toward the body then through the iota it goes various parts of the body and which also pumps the blood to the body via another bypass system so as soon as the baby is born, when the baby lungs starts functioning, the circulation through the heart changes. Now the oxygen rich blood comes from the lungs and enters the left atrium. So when lungs starts working, if this is a lung and it started working, so blood starts circulating. So the pressure in the left atrium increases and causes pressure on the what you call uh, the flap and flap closes, right? This is what the normally person from foramen oval works. So how do you treat it? How do you treat it? Usually treatment is not required because they are mild, usually not diagnosed, okay? So nothing to worry. Uh, and medications can be given to prevent the uh, clots, okay? Remember, this is very important points. And echo is really very important diagnostic test for this, okay guys? So that's it about this uh, disease or uh, this patent for amen oval. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.